we talked to a uh, tenant's right attorney. We talked to an advocate for landlords, and we found unexpectedly they agree more than you might suspect. Janine Nelson is like so many others these days. The dental hygienist lost her job due to the coronavirus pandemic. I work in two different offices and both of them shut down. So it's just a struggle to put food on the table and um, an inability to pay to pay rent. The single mother cares for both a 15-year-old son and her father. She says her next rent payment will eat up her entire emergency fund. If this goes on for another month or so, we, we might have an issue. For advice, Seven on Your Side consulted two different people who on the surface you might expect would have opposing views. Tom Bannon is Chief Executive Officer of the California Apartment Association, a trade association for landlords. Jacqueline Ravenscroft is a tenant's rights attorney with Tobiner and Ravenscroft. And it's really about communicating with your landlord about what you're financially able to do. Our recommendation to our members and to the entire industry is to basically um, be sympathetic, work, work with your residents um, to set up some type of a repayment plan. Both suggest that tenants who can't pay their rent approach their landlord and try to work out a deal. Make it clear you want to pay but just can't right now. Offer to make partial payments over a period of time. The best deal is one that works for both sides. It's costly for a landlord to look for a new tenant. So even if, even if you can only accept partial rent, accept partial rent. If you can't even make partial rent, Ravenscroft suggests asking your landlord to waive your rent altogether. The power a tenant holds right now has never been stronger. A judicial council ruling suspends all eviction summons until three months after the current stay of emergency ends. The benefit to the landlord of potentially agreeing to for forbearance is that they get to keep that tenant in the unit long term, so there's no turnover. Bannon agrees that might work for some landlords. There are some owners that have the financial wherewithal to um, last a lot longer without the rent. And then there are some owners who, just like the general population, may be overextended. Bannon thinks the eviction stay is a little too strict and that problem renters should be evicted. And by the way, here's some good news. Uh, the renter we introduced you to, Janine, she was able to work out a deal with her landlord. So that's some good news.